Hello everyone, welcome to Paradigm Consults Day School. I am Sunia and I am the principal of the school. For the past eight years, I am into teaching the kids preschool. So today I have come up with a video of very frequently asked questions by the parents to me. The most frequently and most important question that I feel that I had to answer is what is a toddler program? Okay, so I'll tell you what it is. Actually, toddler program is um, basic learning for the kid where the age group is between one and two. So, in this group, uh, many parents ask me, what do you teach to a one-year-old baby, a two-year-old two year old baby? I mean, they doesn't know, they don't, doesn't know when to speak properly and they don't know how to walk properly yet. So what are you going to teach these kids? There's a lot that we teach to these kids actually. There's a lot, lot, lot that we teach them because they are the ones who are going to grab things very fast you know like this their brains are very fast very quick so let me tell you how I mean we teach them many things but I'll tell you five basic things that we teach them I I'm telling you this thing because there are many parents out there who are homeschooling their kids their toddlers their one-year-old and two-year-old babies so I feel that it is very important for the mothers or fathers or whoever is taking care of their homeschooling has to know this. So the first thing is read to the kid, read to your child. Reading to your child is very important. For example, I am reading a book, a book, a storybook today to a kid. Um, so I am reading it. I read it. It's done. Again, after some time, the kid is going to bring that storybook to me and he's going to ask me to read it over and over again. So, daily, the kid asks me to read the storybook over and over again. So, there are a few repetitive books here, like Five Little Monkeys, Brown Brown Bear, and Is Your Mama a Lama. These are the three most repetitive books that kids ask us to read over and over again. So, um, reading books, what does it do to your child? What does it do to their brain? Is it boring? No, it's not boring because the kid is getting it to us over and over again to read it to them. So it's not boring at all. And what does it do to their little brains? It helps to develop accuracy, the fluency, the pattern and the rhyme. Let me give you an example like there was an 18 month old baby and I have brought this book called Five Little Monkeys to read it to her. So when I was reading it, it was maybe a sixth time or seventh time that I was reading the book to that baby, that child, that kid. So when I started it, there were five little monkeys who went to the washroom before um, going to bed in the night. They went to the washroom to when I said two, the baby said, they repeat, it uh, answered, the baby answered the question. She said, to brush their teeth before they go to bed. So that's how, you know, the fluency, the rhyme, the accuracy, they know after which sentence which comes, the rhyming. No need for them, they didn't know by heart. She didn't know by heart the story. But yes, it helps them to remember, read again and again to your kid second thing is sing to your child you know we don't it's very important to sing to your child it's very important many of parents say that yeah my child knows all the rhymes he you know he or she watches it over the youtube no please no screen time to a baby who is below two years no please no screen time you sing it to your kid we sing it we sing rhymes, lullabies to the kid here. So we don't put pop on a CD or we don't put it on YouTube. No. We sing rhymes and lullabies to the kid. And what does it do to your kid's brain when you sing it to your kid? 
to your child, to your student, what happens to his brain? The, it, it's his brain gets ready for the future phonics learning. So, which is very important, very, very important. And, you know, the kids are going to love it. Many people say, how can you make one year old baby to stand there like that and sing in front of her? How, how is the baby, he or she, how is the baby going to look at you? How is he going to learn the song, first of all? Yes, they are going to learn. They are not going to turn their heads away from us when we sing the song. It should be that creative, it should be that attractive when we sing it to them. Uh, let's say like, in seven the spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. So when we sing white with action, with dancing, they are going to repeat it. They are not going to turn away their head and pay at all, not for even a single moment. They are going to look deep into your eyes and learn all the action, learn all the dance that we teach them. And the third thing is the flashcards. Yes, I said the evil thing, flashcards. Yeah, flashcards. Many people ask me, flashcards for a one and two year old baby? How is it going to work? What are you talking, ma'am? Flashcards. Yes. And why? Why? Because it is the most effective way of learning facts and information. For a one-year-old baby. Exactly. You know, it is very fast. Flashcards are very fast and very effective. When we use flashcards to teach the kid, they are going to fastly grasp it and effectively it sits in the mind, in the brain of the kid, the child. And yes, it's, it really, really works. It worked for all the kids that I have taught till now, the past eight years. And uh, flashcards like, many may ask me, uh, many may get the doubt of, which kind of flashcards for a one-year-old baby? Flashcards of short vowel sounds, flashcards with a chart with all the letters in it, flashcards, you can sing all the letters, like A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, slow down where the letters need to be stretched, uh, stressed. L, M, N, O, P, so sing it or without singing A, B, C, D, just go fast and flashcards with oval sounds, short oval sounds, A, B, K, D, flashcards. These are the most important things that need to be in the house of a one and two year old baby, child and they are most important things in memorizing the information. No need for them, for a child, you know, to buy hard things. This helps them not only now, but also in their future, in their future education life. There's no need for them to, for them to buy hard things to memorize them. No need for them to, you know, learn them to keep them in their mind. Once, twice, thrice, when they read it, that's enough. The memorizing is done. It's everywhere. It's ev the, everything is here in their brain, set sitting there. So, and fourth thing, fourth and the most important thing is interactive learning and hands-on activities. This is what Periwinkle School is all about. Periwinkle Zones Day School is all about enhancing activities. We do it with picture and everything out there. Whatever we can use, we use it. Mostly we use sorting thing, three things I'll tell you, most basic things which you can do it at home with your with your homeschooling, your child. Let me show you this thing. This is an ice tray. Sorry, egg tray. You can do it with ice tray also. So I've kept three color papers here, orange and yellow. So sorting out. Take a forcep, the kid is going to catch it, hold the forcep, pick each paper, keep it in each box in each circle. Just pick it up and put it. Pick it up and put it. So this is the way that they're going to do it. They can you can also use P 
ping pong balls uh, pom pom balls they're going to use the forceps to pick up the pom pom balls and put them in each uh, section so what is going to happen when they do that they are sorting the things it helps them in focusing and the second thing is motor skills fine motor skills when they do that they hold the uh, the forcep it helps them in pre riding grabbing of the pencil and you know putting them each thing in each box separating the colors sorting it out it this helps them in pre math skills motor skills include this thing this is this is called starlings here in india so uh, use it they use it they hold it and try to fix it so motor skills holding fixing again pre writing skill grabbing of a pencil joining it math skills so this is all about it and the other thing is matching matching you can use you know puzzles to do the matching like there is a basic puzzle of four to five matchings match the arm match the hair the arm the leg when they are done with this type of four to five matchings like let's say parts of the body or you know fruits or colors four or five colors matching they are done with it they are uh, fluent with it keep it aside go to the little complex thing all these matchings cannot be done in one day select one per day this is vegetable matching garlic tomato in its place match it match the carrot in its place after this thing is done all the complex a little bit little complex things are done they are through with it of five of seven to eight matchings then go with little more complex things with at least eight to ten matchings i am giving you example of this one but there are many more that can be done more matchings match it auto to auto bus to bus you, you know they have this thing this little peg peg kind of thing so that they can hold it and push it in to match this helps them again in pre riding this is it okay. this uh, matching of 8 to 10 matchings then you can go to little more complex thing the letters the numbers the shades at the bottom so this also have little peg with it so that they can hold it which helps them in pre diving skills again so matching after they are through with all this kind of puzzle this kind of matchings you can go with the basic puzzle the normal puzzle which we call it itself um, you know made of cardboard box joining the puzzles so you can go with that and what we do is we set up one to three activities a day for the child here in the school the same thing i would request the parents or the caretakers the guardians to do for the kids you are homeschooling to so this helps them with their problem solving skills and because they are it's going to help them with their problem solving skills they are going to throw less tantrum or no tantrum at all so isn't this interesting yeah for most of parents my kid is very you know just all of tantrums this is the most parents problem so you try this with your child if you're homeschooling them if if the child is going to the school uh, and they are into the toddler program then the school is going to teach them so uh, the last and the most important thing is free play so what we do is it's very important for a child to have a free free play we offer them time of you know uh, unstructured independent play uh, with open ended toys we don't want our children to play with you know the toys which has uh, too loud music or a lot of lightings or you know 
the toys which does everything for them and no need for them to do anything just sit and watch no we don't want the kids to play with such kind of toys we offer them very simple open ended toys like blocks bricks labels dolls cars trains very simple open ended toys and you know with these simple open ended to toys they can make many more things they create they create they bring out the creativity of the them and that is what we want so we help to build a healthy child with a healthy brain with healthy habits every single day so we make it really unforgettable for your child here in periwinkle souls so the same thing i want parents to make for their child this learning uh, time or this line learning part of the day every single day should be unforgettable for your child whomever you are homeschooling so what happens we make them ready for really advanced learning with ease these things which these are the basic things that has to be taught to a child when they are one and two year old and what happens this helps them in their future education in their job life in their personal life family life and also in their retirement life they will have problem solving skills the uh, ability of you know memorizing things without by hearting it and and they are going to be really good humans as i said a healthy child leads to healthy future and healthy life so this is it which happens to a toddler's brain when you do this kind of activities with them so i hope you have liked the video if you have liked it please help please hit the big like button and subscribe to my channel to get all my videos all the notification of my videos so if you have any queries regarding the toddler program the preschoolers or the kindergartens please uh, don't forget to message me or the in the comment box section below and you need you have if you want any content of uh, the preschooling or toddler or anything you can ask me in the comment section below so that i will be making a video on that and um, pressing it presenting it to you have a happy day thank you bye bye let's see you in the next video very soon